an elderly stroke patient has been forced to wait in a makeshift tent outside a Melbourne hospital overnight. The 83-year-old's daughter, who asked to remain anonymous, said her mother arrived at Box Hill Hospital at 4 p.m. yesterday and waited in a corridor for three hours before being upgraded to a tent outside. She said paramedics likened the situation to Guantanamo Bay. Read more, bombing at Kabul Mosque kills at least 10, including prominent cleric the woman told Nine News her mother was found slumped in her chair at her aged care facility last night and was taken to hospital via ambulance. The hospital suggested she was showing signs of a stroke, but said it had partially resolved itself. We are still waiting for a bed on the ward, she said that it is heated, and the staff are doing their best. It's makeshift, but it's still a tent. She said her mother was being looked after by paramedics and nurses, and had been seen twice by a doctor, who initially wanted to send her home. Read more, Australia's unemployment rate plummets to lowest level in 48 years the hospital staff said as she regained some movement and that they wanted to send her home, the daughter said. I wasn't comfortable with that and the paramedic said they wouldn't send her home until she gets a scan. I had to advocate and for her to get a scan and last night I pushed it again and she ended up getting one at 10 p.m. The elderly woman remains in the tent and where she has been waiting more than 16 hours for a bed. Read more, conveyor belts of cold fronts approaching as states brace for potential flooding Ask yourself if this, if it was your mother or grandmother, would you happy for her to be in a tent? The daughter said. This is not acceptable. Don't worry about building roads, improve our hospitals. We are in limbo and just waiting. Eastern Health Executive Director Clinical Operations Shannon White said they respect patient confidentiality and said they are unable to comment on any individual patient. While the health system is currently under a great deal of pressure, we constantly strive to deliver the best care for our community and our people are working tirelessly to provide exceptional care for all of our patients, she said.